Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. Wanted to run two different tests comparing the Sony a7 to the Canon T2i. First one was noise, and the other one was how well the two cameras could handle blown out highlights. So the first test, both of them are set up at ISO 1600. Um, interestingly enough, the Sony a7 that's as high as it can go in movie mode, which is kind of odd. Both um, are set to a neutral picture style. Contrast set its low setting, like negative three. Both cameras have no like highlight tone priority turned on or auto lighting optimizer. They're all set at a very neutral setting. I picked this particular doll from my girl's collection because of the shirt. It had a uh, green and blue color to it. And also picked out a um, the Sony a7 box which has some red to it so I kind of wanted to see if there was any more particular no noise in the green blue or red channels okay starting off with the Sony I can see that the blue channel has some noise to it but not so much in the green and when we look at the Canon I would say it's about tie on the blue channel noise and I'm not again not not seeing much in the green part of the shirt Next, when we look at my face and the red box, I think that the Canon is slightly better. When we look at the digital target, where you see the black, gray, and white, when we look in the gray and the black areas, I would say the clear winner here is the Canon, because it's noticeably less noisy than the a7 7 And you kind of have to shift your head around the monitor to see this one, to really see the, the amount of noise that's going on in the a7 7 in the black and the gray channels all right in this next test i wanted to see how well the two cameras could handle blown out highlights so what i wanted to do is expose from my face and then this piece of paper that i just drew a little tree on if it even looks like a tree basically what i wanted to do is i backlit it and i wanted to overexpose it so you could see the details some i did with a sharpie marker and some i did with a very fine pencil and i was expecting to see is that the pencil that you wouldn't even see it you might see the sharpie but not the pencil so what i normally do with the canon is i use a digital calibration target and i fill the frame with the gray and then i basically set the exposure and the canon is a center weighted average and usually when I set it right to zero, I will get perfect exposure for skin tones just about every time. It's wonderful. Now on the Sony, it's no such luck. I was really having problems getting this thing to expose correctly to the digital target. So what I had to do is go into my nonlinear editor and I did many different clips using the Sony and different f-stops, marking my mic down. And it was like, I don't know, two thirds of a stop or maybe even a full stop different than what it saw as 18% gray, which is, I don't know, maybe I'm doing something wrong on that. But basically what I had to do is match on the scopes, I would take and look at the scopes very carefully and see um, where the IRE was for my particular face and match the two. Since I did many clips with the Sony, I just picked the one that I thought matched the best. I ran into kind of an unusual issue here. The Canon's highlights clip at a 100 IRE and the Sony's clip at 110 IRE. I tried some clips in Sony Vegas um, and they both clipped at 110. So I contacted Adobe through their forums and they said that they've worked with Canon to get the correct, I think it's called YUV values correct. So I kind of feel like I'm going down a rabbit hole with this one. Um, so I, I trust Adobe and I said, okay, if you guys work, work with Canon, then I trust you and that you're doing it correctly. I'm not too sure what Sony Vegas is doing, but I trust Adobe, Adobe Premiere Pro. So you'll notice that the Sony handles the highlights much better if this is really a valid test at all. And I'm not any sort of colorist or technician and I can barely understand what YUV even means, but I thought you guys would enjoy the test. All right, I'll talk to you guys later, bye.